For a while now, I've been following the progress of a young French explorer I know only as Madarissiath, who has a YouTube channel called Matisias Exploration. In Warcraft, an explorer is someone who breaks the boundaries of the game world to reach forbidden and mysterious areas that were never meant to be seen. Explorers are technically exploiters since they have to use exploitation techniques to break the fourth wall of the game, but unlike most exploiters, they have an almost ascetic attitude and use their considerable powers only for discovery rather than game progression. That said, their abilities often transcend those of the greatest exploiters. There is something about their selfless devotion to their art, and the code of secrecy with which they pass on their techniques to each other, that allows them to do the impossible. It is difficult to win their trust for that reason. Towards the end of Legion, it was becoming apparent just how good Madarissiath was, and this is in a field filled with extraordinary talent. Without wishing to sound arrogant, there's not much that I don't know how to do in Warcraft, but with Madarissiath, he was consistently producing content that had me scratching my head. That said, even I didn't expect this amazing video, which you are watching extracts from now. To give you an idea of the dedication to the craft here, each 10 second clip in the original video represents probably at least 20 minutes of exploration, edited down to that short clip. To figure out how to get to each location often takes hours in itself, not to mention the considerable amount of time spent developing the breakout methods in the first place. The 58 minutes of content in the entire video would represent for most YouTubers something they would probably spin out to over 50 hours, and that would be over 6,000 years of content for Vaulty. There are so many exciting and tantalizing secrets here, and you realize just how large the meta world, the developer areas are, outside the normal boundaries of the game. Although I've broken out of dozens of instances, and consider myself an above average proficient explorer. Most of the locations in this video were completely new to me. If you're tired of watching endless rehashes of methods to break out of Gilneas early or get into the old outlands in the dead mines, this video will come as a real shock to your system. Now, this video was published just over three months ago. And it is clear that the video was only viewed by the exploration community with just 1,700 views at the time of writing. Madarissiath has very high integrity and refuses to use clickbait or promote himself aggressively in any way. But fortunately, I'm a complete scumbag with no morals and quite happy to do those things on his behalf. And this video really deserves it. In a time on YouTube where the laziest type of content tends to succeed, give this video a chance and share it with your friends. I have to say this also, the video is possibly the best ever WoW video to get, how can I put this without getting demonetized, Elon Musk to. It also has the most amazingly sublime soundtrack, which I'm not featuring here for copyright reasons. So go and check out the video, I promise it will blow your mind, and if you've got some amazing video that you really enjoy watching, you, that you feel hasn't been brought to the attention of the Warcraft community, uh, send, leave a comment here or send me a message on Twitter.com Archvalda, and I'll try and get around to publicising it. Now on this channel, I've got something quite special lined up in the near future. You will probably want to be subscribed for this because you won't want to miss it. And it's the truth about the 2012 kill hack during Cataclysm, a very famous incident. I've done a lot of research on this one and found uh, the intimate details of what occurred. Uh, it's never been published before. I spoke to a guy who was directly responsible who provided lots of new video footage. I think you'll find it absolutely fascinating. Thanks for watching. This has been Archvelder.